Time now for today's Math in the News. And in studio, we're fortunate enough to have a guest with us today. Eddie, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you. Nice to have you on board with us. You are an employee of the Kern County Superintendent of Schools Office also, correct? Proud employee. Ooh, I know, you know what? I don't know if I've ever said, but nobody ever asked me where I work, right? So, <laughs> but I also am a proud employee of KCSOS. Uh, so I'm, I'm glad that you said that. And is it because somebody's out there listening or something? Oh, no, I really love the organization. <laughs> I love the culture. Good. All right. Well, let's start there. How long have you been here? Uh, this is my third year now. I'm the director for the HQIM department, and this is a part of a large initiative that we're running um, with the California Department of Education. Okay. And the thing that you got going on is the California Educators Together. Yes. So kind of a little synopsis. What is that? Um, it's uh, ultimately it's free resources for teachers. Um, we have a lot of great free resources that are coming from uh, large and reputable sources, uh, nonprofits, statewide initiatives, and then we also have a ton of lessons created by teachers across the state. Okay, so I as an educator can go on here and find lessons, and that's a free service for me. Correct. And if I wanted to contribute a lesson there's a way that I could do that also. Correct, we host um, lesson design institutes, workshops, and we also have an asynchronous course. And um, people who attend or educators who attend our uh, professional learning um, create lessons. Those lessons get vetted by a statewide collaborative that we've also uh, developed and that we work with. Okay. And then upon completion, they earn a stipend and those lessons are up public on the, uh, on the site and available to educators across the state. Okay, so it's across the state throughout California. Correct, so we've hosted or held professional learning and events as far south as Chula Vista and as far north as Glen County. And then um, coming up in the end of the month, we're gonna be out in Humboldt doing a lesson demonstration with a teacher. Okay. So we're really capturing all the corners of California. Good, and I know that you said educator, so I'm assuming this is like TK-12 or does it go beyond that? TK-12. TK-12, yes. all right, so that's for anybody in there at all. Uh, I know some educators might ask this, are there other languages available? Yes, um, and if there isn't, the exciting part is that um, you can contribute those lessons. Um, so we, uh, okay. we, we have a process where we do pay teachers to, to uh, contribute new lessons um, by standards that we haven't addressed. And so if you see uh, empty space in the platform, we encourage you to join um, the, the group and uh, you know, let's make it happen. All right, great. Well, you know what? Let's take a look at your presentation here. So this is better all right so this is our um, California educators together guidebook we have a few subject specific uh, guidebooks we have a CTE guidebook um, we have a ELA guidebook but I'm gonna highlight our science one uh, for a second here as you go through our guidebook it's kind of like a virtual magazine you could click on the different links it highlights and showcases um, some of the resources that you'll be able to see you could also see where we've interacted with um, participants or with educators across the state this right here is a fantastic group of educators that we connected with out at LAUSD I believe it was 77 educators at Bravo Medical Magnet um, and then this here is a, a great group of educators that we connected with at the Contra Costa County Office of Ed um, and then again this is a presence that we've created statewide um, talking about pride in Kern County we've also connected um, all across the uh, all across our county region um, as you go through the guidebook uh, we are very intentional in being able to uh, break apart what are the differences between the resources the curriculum and uh, the groups that we have available for you on the platform and then we also give you some tips for being able to navigate those resources uh, and then once you jump into the actual guidebook content, that's where for us it's really exciting. We showcase and share a sample of lessons created by teachers across the state. Um, this one here, we're highlighting a local uh, superstar, Holly Gonzalez, but you can click on any of those links and it, tells, it takes you again to a, a sample of lessons. All the lessons that we have on the platform created by teachers have been vetted. They all have integrated ELD, they all have UDL, and they all have the free resources that you need um, to be successful in your class. So before you go on, is there a way that somebody can look up a specific standard 
yeah. and head that way also, okay. Yeah, you could go and you can search um, by specific standard, and then that actually speaks to the next part here um, on the well, guidebook. Look at that. Where you know what, I'm gonna come work for you, right? <laughs> I have these things together, right? This right. is your idea, we actually had somebody, I said, right, hey, I said, listen, he's doing it, all right, <laughs> put him on there now. So yeah, we have somebody put them on there in real time, but you can search um, by standard, you could find either resources from organizations who've contributed resources or teachers who've written that uh, lesson for us. However, we also like to point out that we truly believe lessons um, don't happen in a vacuum. The lesson is a part of the community, which includes the teacher, the students, um, uh, their experiences. And so, for example, this is uh, Samantha Stickley. She's a fantastic educator down in the San Diego area. And um, uh, she was awarded, she's one of six uh, teachers who were honored with, uh, with a presidential uh, nomination um, by Tony Thurmond. And on the platform, you can get her lessons for free. You can watch her teach for free. You can get a podcast episode where she talks to you about what it means for her to be a science teacher and then how she starts her year as a science teacher. And you can get all of her entire curriculum uh, from Open Syed uh, for free as well. So this is something that if you are in your first year or first couple of years in education, this yeah. would be very helpful for you because you've got other sources throughout the state that you can see yes. in action. And even for somebody that's been in it for a little while, maybe a new twist on things. Yeah. You know. You get some ideas, get inspired, and then just see what, what's out there. Um, again, we highlight teachers different parts of the state. We're gonna do a demo video here with Quinn um, out in Milpitas just uh, uh, in, a, in a week or so. And, um, and then more lessons, more local superstars. This is our Chelsea Lancaster doing fantastic work. Um, Leah Thomas, a teacher who hosted an event for us. And um, this is what I really want to point out because these to me are what make uh, the platform uh, special. We have um, kind of our heavy hitter initiatives that um, come onto the platform and bring resources. This is Climate in the Classroom through the Carbon Cleanup Initiative. Um, and we have all of their lessons um, housed directly on the platform, integrated ELD, UDL, really solid cutting edge stuff. And it's led by one of our old local teachers, Chelsea Lancaster. Um, and then uh, just to, to wrap it up, again, like really great resources, over 900 from Open Syed available um, on the platform, everything you need for middle or high school, and then additional um, resources that we connect you to. For example, you got the Monterey Bay Aquarium cams, um, California State Parks. Most teachers don't know, but they will actually do virtual field trips for you um, through their parks. And again, all of that available to, for teachers uh, to be free. And if you see something there that's missing, I mean, you can, we appreciate, we understand teachers have the labor of love thing going on, but we also pay uh, for, uh, for that work um, to be done and submitted. Yeah, so just let you guys know, yeah. and then they can kind of put everything together, submit yeah. it to you guys, you guys check everything out, and yeah. then... CaliforniaEducatorsTogether.org, and um, again, really proud for uh, that work to be carried out here through uh, KCSOS. All right, well, Eddie, thank you very much for coming in. That was, certainly was fantastic. I appreciate and, it. Uh, as a proud employee of KCSUS, <laughs> I would like to thank you for coming in once again because that's a wonderful resource. Like I said, for educators, whether they're uh, brand new or a little bit seasoned and just want to try something a little different with the curriculum that they're already used to, you know, I mean, it's, it's nice to freshen it up a little bit too yeah. and find out what's new yeah. as far as information and things like that. Yeah, correct. So, thank you for coming in.